three years after people. In the wilderness of Yellowstone National Park, a tiny flying creature that once terrified North America has returned. The Rocky Mountain Locust. They were a common sight in the 19th century. Swarms that were often 2,000 square miles blackened the skies from the Rocky Mountains to the Mississippi River. Like a biblical plague, wherever they landed, the ravenous mass devoured every blade of vegetation. They're pelting you. They're landing, crawling, crawling up into your clothing. It's like a horrific rainstorm or, or a hailstorm of locusts as they cover everything. In 1875, one outbreak was so massive, it was deemed the largest single gathering of living creatures in recorded history. Nothing comes close to this enormous swarm of Rocky Mountain locusts in 1875. That swarm was approximately 1,800 miles long and 110 miles wide. If we had squared them up, they would have covered the state of Colorado border to border. But in the late 19th century, Settlers began farming on the insect's fragile habitat in the river valleys of the upper Rocky Mountains. Within 25 years, the locusts disappeared. Only a few small pockets may have survived in pristine places like Yellowstone National Park. Three years after people, the population of a surviving pocket of locusts grows in the absence of humans. Might the ravaging swarms that once terrified settlers return? Thirty years after people. On the distant horizon of the prairie, a dark cloud blots out the sun. Within minutes, a frenzied crush of insects from a swarm big enough to cover the entire state of Delaware pours out of the sky. Once so few in numbers, many scientists believe they were extinct. The Rocky Mountain locust has returned. We're hesitant to use the E word in ecology and entomology, that E word being extinction. And the reason is what we call the Lazarus effect. The Lazarus effect is when any species thought to be gone forever is found, as if it came back from the dead. The return of the locusts is tied to their cousins that live just outside Yellowstone Park, grasshoppers. In a life after people, grasshoppers are no longer controlled by pesticides, and their numbers explode. Birds that kept locusts in check for decades now gorge on grasshoppers instead. For the first time in more than a century, locusts flourish. And it's when they sense their territory is becoming overcrowded that instinct tells them to take to the air in mass in search of more food. 30 years after people, the Rocky Mountain locust swarms into the skies of the American Midwest once again.